Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Over Potato. This is Age of Civilizations 2. And this is the last episode of Age of Civilizations 2 that we're gonna that we're gonna be doing. Um, even though we've not maxed out the tech tree, even though we've not finished off our wars, I still feel like we've had a a fairly good crack at this game and uh, and sort of the general principles of it. I think it still needs a heck of a lot of work. Um, as I've talked about earlier, you know, the simple my number is bigger than your number uh, combat system. It's kind of lacking, um, and by kind of, I mean it's severely lacking. So uh, so that's kind of a little bit of a problem. We've still got, you know, 20,000 20, Dutch troops just stuck in the water because who knows... Who knows what they're going to do? Uh, why on earth did I get these guys to move out? What? What is going on? What's going on? Uh, can, am I controlling the Dutch troops now? Have I got troops in Oslo? What the heck was that? Okay, I don't know what that was, but anyway, as I say, um, we're just going to sort of let it run. We're going to see what's uh, what's going to happen. Um, cool, Poland, uh, relations with Poland, that's still really important for us. Germany, not so important. Um, we're also at war with, uh, with Belgium again, which is good, I guess, if that's what you're interested in, in destroying Belgium. And I still think that they are... Technically my vassal, even though they are at war with me. No, no, they're not. They're not technically my vassal. They, they unvassalized themselves. Oh, well, look, Poland has now destroyed Belgium. And therein ends Belgium. Poland is, well, from what I've seen at least, way too strong, like unbalanced to just high heck. It's just ridiculous. Look at the number of troops that they've got. And they managed to they managed to fight me off. Um they managed to fight me off in Denmark. That was just crazy. That was just crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean, it's not like I'm um you know, it's not like I'm expecting it to be a walk in the park, but I'm at least expecting I'm at least expecting it to be a little easier than it was. But you know, hey ho. It happened. Uh, we're going to send the demands to Belgium. If I don't, I don't get a positive response from Belgium, then that's going to be a serious problem. Belgium is continuing to pay war reparations. Is Belgium still? Has Belgium gone under my uh, vassals? No. But they're continuing to pay war reparations, which is kind of nice. A trade request. Form coalition against Iran. Sure, buddy. Let's let's let's, let's do it. Um, the DRC are just for some reason not accepting my peace. Wait, I've, I'm now immediately back in, how did I, how did I end up in a war with Iraq? I mean, I, I said I would form a coalition, not that I would go to war. That is a bit of a difference there, to be honest. Uh, I'm just sort of randomly investing my science points here. Scramble for Liverpool. Oh, no. Has there been an invasion? 3,000 troops coming from the DRC. Okay, because that's a realistic... That's a realistically likely scenario. Um, well, at least we can raise a couple of troops here. I don't know if we're going to be, be able to raise anywhere near enough. Truth be told, I never actually thought that we would be attacked by anyone. Um, but now the time has come. We will raise 6,000 troops. It is what it is. We'll do it. There we go. And you are instantly knocked down. But you're gonna... Oh, you're gonna just be really, really annoying and attack everywhere and do everything super annoying. I know exactly what you're gonna do. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. 3,000 troops that way. 1,500 troops that way. 1,500 troops that way. <sighs> so annoying. So very, very annoying. And it's just like, it's just a process that you have to, it's just a process that you have to live through. There is nothing, there is nothing that you can do to make it go faster. Uh, sure, 1,000 troops that way, 1,000 troops that way, 40 troops to remain behind, sure. There we go, okay, so at least we've contained him now, which is kind of nice. Contained him to Scotland, I guess, that's quite a, 
quite a large area, but... Oh, interesting. Bulgaria has actually decided to attack me. Well, it's a good thing that I left those troops there. Uh, because I was thinking that I had made a mistake by leaving them there. And I should have pushed them uh, up north. But apparently, no, I was entirely correct. Okay. Push these guys up north. Beautiful. I think... I think that'll mostly do it, to be honest. Oh! Oh, no. Look, I severely... Severely underestimated the strength of the army there. Well, that's on me. It won't happen again. Uh, you move to like here. Sure, you can go there. Beautiful. Perfect. There we go. We're back on a winning streak. We're going to completely retake Scotland like five turns tops. Uh, Russia is friendly. Great. At least we got some people that are being friendly with us, which is kind of nice. Okay, move you up. Nope. Move you up there. Move you up there. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, we still got money, and you gotta bear in mind that, you know, all this time, even though... Even though the war isn't always going the greatest, we are um, spending a bunch of money on our population growth, we're spending a bunch of money on our research, and, um, to be honest, happy with the way that everything is going. Um, I clicked you to move up here. Why have you not gone? Okay, fine, whatever. Anyway, we're slowly but surely moving up. This is a little bit of a weird, weird border region. Don't quite understand how that works. But hey ho, uh, sure. 200 troops there. Oh, ni all 900 there. And then 200 up here. Sure, I think that'll work. We might have a some problem taking over Paisley. There might not be enough troops, but hey-ho. Oh, great. That was even easier than anticipated. Truthfully, was not expecting it to be that easy. There we go. Just like that. What do you know? That's, that's quite literally it. We're done. We're done here. And with one... Fell swoop. There we go. We have completely retaken our land. Um, why on earth is this happening? Why are they? Why do they always invade Liverpool? What have they got against Liverpool? It just doesn't make sense. Sure, let's get more research. See, all of the the fact that all of these are kind of just like straight bonuses. It's kind of not that interesting really if it's just like a modifier it's kind of like well meh meh i mean also could they try and attack not liverpool for once uh, i'm gonna try peace out with the drc just on the off chance that they that they fancy doing it also i think the um the the war goal system and the peace screen is ridiculously simplistic and needs way more work Yay, we managed to get a peace a peace with uh with the with the people that we wanted to get a peace with. DRC. Uh, let's ask let's ask uh, Bulgaria, but I'm doubtful that it'll happen. Can we offer them like the Isle of Man? We can't. We just can't do can't do anything unless you have war scores. See that's the problem. Uh, fine, 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 fine. Um, peace negotiations, send demands, sure. We'll just send some blank demands. No, proposal was rejected from both of our dudes. Military access to Poland will expire next turn. I'm not really that bothered, to be honest. Looks like Germany has... Did Germany regain that? I think they might have regained a tiny little bit of territory. Man, Russia is huge. Have they attacked anyone? Oh. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Japan has destroyed China, and so has Russia. Russia has destroyed China, too. Well, I'm glad Russia's on my side, then. Uh, Iran is also huge. Who am I at war with? It's alright. I'm at war with Iraq. Which is... Tiny. <laughs> which is very small in comparison. However... Iran is not at war with Iraq. I'm pretty sure that I went into a coalition with Iran 
against Iraq. But I may be misremembering that, but either way, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, so, you know, I, I hope you can s sort of begin to see at least some of the, I wouldn't say detrimental flaws, but uh, significant flaws. Um, the, the DRC is now improving relations with me. Why? Why, game? It doesn't make sense. I feel like there is absolutely no consistency to the way in which this game actually operates. Rejected peace both times again. Truthfully, I don't even understand why. Hungary's improving relations with me. France is insulting me. Skip forward a couple of turns. Namibia. Form a coalition against... The, sorry, they're offering me 43 gold to form a coalition against the DRC. Well, now that I know that that instantly means you declare war on them, I'm automatically going to refuse any 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 opportunity that I that I get uh, that I get asked. Send demands, sure. They're not really demands; they're more just like polite requests, I would say. Keep on, keep on going forward. We got a truce with Bulgaria. No truce with uh, Iraq, unfortunately. I'm really hoping that we can sign Poland up as an ally before. You know, like the next horrific incident applies. Diplomatic points. Uh-oh. Diplomatic relations are suspended with Poland. Why? They're at war with the DRC too. They love me. This does not make sense. This doesn't make sense. Send a gift. Sure, let's send them a five grand gift. I don't actually know if it will if it will make any difference whatsoever. But sure, let's do it. Let's also, um... Can we not improve relations? Why are they suspended? Whatever, we'll just go three turns. Improve relations, off reliance. Okay, now it's only negative 250. Or sorry, I say negative 265. But apparently, our positive relations, of which we have many positive relations, um, doesn't make a darn difference. So, unfortunately, I'm reduced to just asking, I would say very politely, Iraq to uh, to just stop attacking me. Nope, still not gonna, still not gonna do it. So we're just gonna have to wait around. Ugh, how annoying! How unbelievably annoying! More population growth. Yep, sure. When did these guys get bored of me? Military access will expire next turn. Fine. Send demands. Yep. Will you white piece me now? Nope. Non-aggression pact has expired with Oman. Why do I care about that? Why on earth do I have a non-aggression pact with Oman? I can't even remember signing one. Did I sign one? Maybe. Who knows, honestly. Well, hey, finally we did it. Okay, so now I still don't think we're going to be able to get a uh, an alliance with Poland. Wait, I'm not at war. He's at war. Does that does that give him a negative modifier? I'm sorry, but that is crazy. Who are my allies? I don't have any allies. I'm allied with the Netherlands. The Netherlands don't exist anymore. How does that count against me? Kick from the Alliance. Hell yeah, dude. You're gone. You don't exist as a country anymore. You literally don't exist on the map. You're Poland now. What is going on? Okay. I'll offer an Alliance. Hey, hey, hey. Look, we can actually make this happen. Um, so it turns out that war... Or him being in a war isn't a modifier. It doesn't particularly matter. There we go. Let's let's sign this deal. Beautiful. That is that is what I've been waiting for. Poland to sign on to being my ally, which basically means that I don't have to worry about anything now. I'm just gonna just gonna worry about that. Uh, call to arms. I'm gonna deny it. You know what? Why on earth would I go to war with you? I don't think that it's going to break my friendship with him. I'm still allied. It's reduced our opinion of each other by five. But, like, why do I care? Like, it doesn't matter. I can just improve relations. And it doesn't seem that improved relations has any real limit. 
There we go. Oh, look, we should probably watch this battle, um, the ongoing battle between the Czech Republic and Poland. Interestingly, Poland has not decided to call me into that war yet. Now, Finland is, I imagine, at war with Poland. Yep, but Poland is at war with... Sorry, Finland is just at war with Poland. Poland, on the other hand, is at war with Sweden, the Czech Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Finland. That's quite a handful, but I'm thoroughly glad that he called me into the war, which is literally the furthest away from me. So, thank you for that, Poland. I, I really can tell that you've got my best thoughts at heart. Still no call to arms from Poland. Um, you would imagine that the whole point of having an alliance is to, you know, is to call them into, call them into battles. Wait, hold on a minute. I thought this was, I thought this was the Netherlands, a little pocket of the Netherlands in the middle of Europe, but no, it's just Hungary, and uh, I can't see the color of the flag. I thought it was blue. It does still kind of look blue. The smaller, it, the smaller it is. Look at the little small, small flag right, right here. Obviously, I'm moving it, but you know what I mean. Like right, yeah, you know what I, you know what I mean. Like right here when I, the mouse is over here. You know what I mean. Anyway, look at that. It looks pretty blue. Um, peculiar. Either way. We're leveling up technology levels, slowly but surely. Uh, maybe we should spend more money on something. Sure, we'll go spend some more money on tech. Why not? Spend more money on tech, see if it makes a darn difference. Looks like Poland's having a little bit of a, a little bit of an incursion up here. That's not really something that uh, I would expect of Poland. I was expect Poland to shut this to shut this down kind of pronto, but uh, to date, still nothing. No real idea of the. Um, Czech Republic's strength. However, Poland is fighting back. Fighting back admirably. Ooh, this is a big invasion. An invasion of 3,600 troops from Sweden. Looks like the appropriate number of troops were raised in Gdynia. Gdynia? Whatever the case. Uh, the appropriate number of troops were raised and the, the attack was defended. Now, Poland is progressing very much. Sorry, I just want to check that I'm not, like, nothing bad is going on. Nothing bad or interesting is actually happening in the United Kingdom, so that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, so we're just going to watch Poland then, I guess. Maybe we'll declare war on someone and make Poland go to war with them for us. Yeah, you know, maybe we'll go to war with Ukraine. Should we go to war with Ukraine right now? Should we just go to war with Ukraine? Call ally. Sure. Let's do it. We declare war on Ukraine. Sorry, Poland. Oh, no. What a shame. What a shame. Poland came into this war with us. Yeah, so I've just... I've, I've sort of accidentally messed around my ally. He joined the war. He's a good friend. Poland is a good friend. Um, who else can we... Who else? What about Lithuania? Can we, can we declare war against Lithuania? They kind of hate me, so it's a pretty good excuse to declare war. What is the point of preparing war? Request war preparations. Sure, I'll declare... I'll select war preparations. Anyway, let's see how Poland is going to deal with this. Because this puts him in a very, very interesting position. Poland accepted to join war preparations against Lithuania. What about Germany? Will Poland come to war with us against Germany? Prepare for war, Poland. Three turns. Sure. Let's see if this will work. Um, I should probably be careful, actually, because my... I could actually be invaded, maybe by Ukraine, but most... most likely by Germany. Um, trade request from Niger. Form a coalition against... Nope. For 50 gold? You've got to be kidding me. Looks like Poland is actually defending. Sure, they've lost a couple of provinces over here. As in Polish cord provinces, but... You know, a couple over here, but, you know, for the most part, they're actually doing pretty good, given the fact that they're at war with <laughs> five people. Almost all of them on the border regions. Um, declare, wall, declare war, call Poland. Wait, hold on a minute. Did I not prep for war? Wait a minute. Is Poland not my ally? I mean, they don't like Poland, so surely we're going to go to war with Poland when the time comes, right? We're at war with Germany. Has has Poland come into this war? Call to arms. Poland. 
They've got a negative opinion of me. Honestly, doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me at all. We're at war with Lithuania. Which is which is hilarious. Well, you know what? I guess I kind of did bring Poland down from the inside. Oh, I forgot that we actually have Denmark. Well, that doesn't particularly matter, all things considered. Hey, 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 hey. Poland joined the war, even with a horrifically negative opinion of me. They've still got a, they've got a great opinion of me. What is this nonsense that said that they had fake, that they had, they, that they had um, fake, fake opinion numbers for me? They've got really high opinion of me. Well, we're about to see Poland get absolutely crushed. I don't really care about Denmark. I don't really care about anything. The series is over, you know. I just want to see. I want to see how Poland does, truthfully. Yeah, Denmark's gonna get invaded. Whatever. Defend. Move some troops up here to defend. Poland, honestly, has done an exceptional job. However, I suspect that he's probably running out of manpower right now. Manpower and or money. Although, he seems to be doing a fairly good job of training up a bunch of troops. He seems to be moving the troops in the wrong direction, though. He's lost his capital. He's lost Warsaw. Uh, which isn't exactly ideal. Especially for troop numbers. I think the end is coming for Poland. What's happening in the world of potato? Oh, look! Finland has completely taken out the Netherlands. Well, that is... What a strange turn of affairs. So, the Netherlands have owned this area. I owned a bit of it for a bit. Belgium, Belgium obviously owned a bit of it, a chunk of it, and then Poland owned it, and now Finland have owned it, and also Germany own it, and France probably owned some of the Dutch, is it a Dutch core? I guess these are French cores. Oh, no, the French own the German cores. So the Germans own the Dutch cores, and then the French own the German cores, and then these are also German cores. Hmm, very, very suspicious. But you know what they say? You know what they say? You can't, you can't stab someone from behind until you get behind them. And, um, and my oh my, we really got behind Poland. We lined, we lined them up and, um, and they, they got destroyed. Uh, here, <laughs> here come 12,000 troops from Sweden. I haven't even been invaded yet. <laughs> this is great. Um, this is hilarious. Okay, Poland is, Poland is finished. I think I I maybe pushed it a little bit too far. Can I break my alliance with Poland? Kick from the alliance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to insult him. Yeah, sure. Suspend diplomatic relations for 50 turns. There you go. Screw you, dude. Kick you from the alliance. There you go. <laughs> um, I, I'm pretty sure. Oh? Maybe this is... Oh, I, maybe this is the Polish resurgence. It could be, honestly. I'm only really invested in Poland's future here. That's um, Latvia. That's not Polish Polish provinces. He only controls a very, very few number of provinces. And the United States have just declared war with me. Um, I don't think they're they're probably not gonna. They probably don't have any troops that are anywhere near me. Um, but even if they did, I don't really matter. I, it doesn't really matter. I'm more just interested to see what exactly happens to Poland. Can I give up a bunch of Polish provinces? Can I, like, just give away my my Polish friends' provinces? I don't think I can. Um, demand vassalization? No. I mean, will Poland have to peace out separately? I don't actually know if the AI is... I mean, I'm, they're capable of doing that, surely. However, I don't know. I'm seriously concerned that Poland could actually rise from the... The ashes? Uh, sure, I can recruit more troops here for all the... If I can't be bothered. Um, it doesn't really matter. I Look, I'm... Oh, Cuba's now at war with me. That's fun. The United States and Cuba are lining up to attack me. How ironic is that? Come on. There we go. I, wanted, I just want to see what's going on in Poland. Come on. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. I don't care if German Germany invades me. Blumen That was a long turn. Poland is done. I think Poland was finished off on that turn. Just there. Which now means... 
I mean, Poland has lost everything. Poland has lost absolutely everything. Ukraine has emerged victorious in Europe. Well, how very, very interesting indeed. Well, you know what? I actually accomplished my main objective um, from about halfway through the series, which was to take out Poland. We did it. We just did it in the most unconventional way possible. Yeah, quite happy about that. Anyway, on that note, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching um, this series. If the game gets gets better, then I am definitely going to return to it. If not, I think it's probably one to safely shelve. It's a uh, it's a little bit it's a little bit basic in its current form, but as I say, definitely open to uh, to returning to it. So thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obadu Potato. I'll see you next time. Bye.